Hello YouTube, and welcome to this video about the Jenkinator. Something that looks like an ordinary computer, but is in fact much less than that. It is cobbled together from scrap parts, put into a new Corsair 88R case. We have a Chinese motherboard, ECC memory, a video card that doesn't have a proper cooler, so it has some tie rip fans to it, an Antec basic PSU that's really really old, and a gorgeous plastic side panel indeed. And of course no SSD, but just a regular hard drive. And we have a case with a side panel window. If we take a better look at the inside of the case, we can see how everything is put together. We've got plenty of fans, we've got an optical drive, ketchup and mustard cables and adapters, and of course plenty of zip ties. Powering this system is an Antec Earthwatts 430 watt power supply, as you can see here. The video card is a Zotac GTX 470 with one and a quarter gigs of RAM. The board is Chinese X58 with a Freezer 7 on top of it and a Xeon E5649 chip. Like I said, regular burner, disconnected laptop hard drive in the back, and that is basically it. Now it's time to see it in action. Alright, so here we are at the desktop. Of course the system is running the most appropriate operating system for a Jenkinator. And that is of course Windows Vista Business. It is running the 64-bit version because we have 4GB of RAM. And as we can see we've got the E5649 Xeon CPU, which is a 6-core. Let's uh, open up CPU Z here for a quick look there. So we can see what we're dealing with. Here we can see Intel Xeon E5649 Wisner EP. It's only an 80 watt CPU, so it's pretty efficient. 6 cores, 12 threads, running at 1.6 to uh, 2.53 gigahertz. The Koloe Chinese motherboard. There's the 4 gigs of RAM. And our Zotac GTX 470 with 1 and a quarter gigs of RAM, which we can also see here in the GPU Z. We can see we've got 1 and a quarter gig of RAM, GDDR5 by Hynix, your 20 bit memory bus. 134 gigabytes of memory bandwidth, 448 CUDA cores, made by Zodac with the full GF100 GPU. And temperatures are okay for a Jira rigged uh, graphics card, that is. So, that is pretty much that a little short overview so you can see what we're dealing with. I'll just show you the temperatures real quick. I've just finished a uh, couple runs of games just to make sure everything is stable. CPU temps are very low, they are accurate. Uh, it's slowing down considerably when it needs to. Video cards at 45 degrees, hard disk at 34, so the temperature is pretty good. So, uh, well, that's enough of that uh, jibber jabber. Let's take a look at how this machine actually performs. I've got a couple of benchmarks laid out. We've got Quake 3, Crisis, because of course we need to know can it run Crisis. Heaven Benchmark, 3D Mark Vantage, and PC Mark Vantage because they're all Vista benchmarks and uh, newer than that won't run. So we can see and, uh, and get a better idea of how this machine performs in practice. So let's get started. We're starting off with Quake 3 Arena, which is obviously a very easy game to run, with 545 frames per second at max settings and 1080p resolution. Next up is Unigine Heaven Benchmark. At the extreme preset, nothing else changed, we get an average of 22.3 frames per second. To throw some synthetics in the mix, we run 3D more advantage. You can see the scores on the display right now. It performs admirably. And wrapping up the synthetics, we have PC Mark Vantage with a 4812 score. This was indeed the most important question of all, but can it run Crisis? Well, here's the video to prove it. We're running at 1080p high settings with very high textures and water effects and uh, it's running very well. Well, this basically concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.